check one thing. He's got his old familiar crew chief, Ernie Cope, with him, who went to Junior's team, and now is at the helm here for Kevin in this 88 car. Yeah, looks like they're able to revive some of that magic, too. Yeah, it certainly helps when, as a driver, when you've got a familiar face and voice there and someone that understands what you're talking about when you're telling us something. Uh-oh, whoop, come on. Contact there with Keselowski. 87, Darrell Haar into the wall. Caution is out. Sorry, you should have called that. Well, Darrell Haar, veteran that we've seen around on a number of occasions from Canada. Sounded like uh, might have been a little confusion. Okay, not your fault, Darrell, not your fault. I... With the spotter, and uh, winds up with a heavily torn up race car, bringing out the first yellow in this one. He got, he got contact with Brad Keselowski, who was catching really quickly. And they were coming up, uh, looks like a lot of cars there. And right here is Keselowski. You can see the 87 just in front of Darrell Hart. And he just, I think there was a little indecision on the part of the 87 of which line to take, and he obviously chose the wrong one. This is Brad Keselowski. It looks like Darrell Hart thought that he had enough momentum here to make the pass on the car directly in front of him. And Keselowski, just a little more momentum maybe than what uh, he thought or, or just hadn't checked his, his mirror as they entered the corner. Well, I think maybe one thing was happening right there is Keselowski was checking his. He saw Kevin Harvey coming hard. He knew he needed to clear these cars to be able to hold Harvey off. Certainly nothing intentional there. I just don't think that Keselowski expected him to go to the bottom. Yeah. We're going to down. Darrell signal to the safety workers that he is not in any distress. You see the helmet coming out as he extracts himself from the race car. So 21 laps in.